Hello and welcome to this demo. My name is Mumshad Manambath and this is the continuation of the series of videos on JSON Path. In this video, we will get introduced to some of the advanced options available while working with JSON Path queries, specifically lists. We learned earlier about lists. Here's the list of top 10 brand names on Forbes. To get the first element, we say dollar of zero. To get the fourth element, we say dollar of three. And to get the first and the fourth element, we say dollar of zero comma three. Let us look through some additional options. What if you want to get all names from the first to the fourth element? For that, you can use the semicolon to say zero to three, you will use the query zero semicolon three. But note that when you say first to the fourth element, it does not include the fourth element itself. It means from the first up to the fourth, not including the fourth element itself. If you want to include the fourth element as well, you should say zero to four. We now have a query that gets the first eight elements from the list. What if we want every other item? For example, say we want Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and Samsung. You can use the step option by adding another semicolon and by specifying the number of hops to take after each item. A step value of two means increment the counter twice before fetching the next item. In other words, it means skip or hope over one item. What if you want the last item on the list? We know that the items in the list have indexes starting zero. In this case, for 10 items, the indexes are zero to nine. To get the last item, which happens to be McDonald's, we could say dollar of nine. But what if the list was smaller or larger? Then this query will not work. So how do we develop a query that always returns the last item in a list, even if the number of items in the array changes? Just like how you have indexes starting at zero, from the first item in a list, you also have indexes start at minus one from the last item in the list. The last item is always at minus one, no matter how many elements are in the list. So to always get the last item, you could say, dollar of minus one. You see, that's how I'd expect it to work, but that does not work in all of JSON path implementations. For certain implementations of JSON path, you must specify this in the start and end format with a semicolon. So you should say dollar of minus one to zero. This means start from the last element and all the way to the end. You can also simply leave out the zero and it would assume it to be zero. Similarly, to get the last three elements, you could say dollar of minus three to zero, or leave it blank. Well, that's it for this lecture. Head over to the practice test and practice working with lists in JSON path.